Hi friends, I am Manmad Krishna. You are watching Manmad Krishna Food Tech channel. I made my videos in the easiest and simplest way to understand food safety professionals. Now today's topic is the role of moisture retaining agents, especially the phosphates. How the phosphates will interfere into biochemical changes in streams after death. There are a lot of biochemical changes will occur after death of the shrimps. How these phosphates will interact with the protein system of shrimp meat or fish meat. Today's topic is, let us start the after harvest, the shrimps death, the shrimps, the enzymatic action autolysis will start because during live condition, the body's defense mechanism the enzymatic action autolysis won't take place and the bacteria which are invading in the gut region could not print it into the deeper parts of the meat until unless the shrimps are in live condition what will happen after death yes shrimps after harvesting death high packed and sent to the processing plants to process further to export into the developed countries during ice packing Naturally, the shrimp flesh contains 250 milligrams to 350 milligrams of sodium per 100 grams of shrimp meat. You know what will happen when we start ice packing the shrimps? The ice melts starts. What are the sodium content in shrimp meat? Starts leaching to the ice slush and the moisture content also will increase. Once it reaches to the factory, the sodium levels also will decrease from 300 milligrams for 100 grams of shrimp meat to maybe 100 milligrams of shrimp, 100, 100 milligrams of sodium, the levels will decrease. Then again, once it reaches to the facility food industry, most of the shrimps have been treated with phosphates or non-phosphates or blends of phosphates with salts. Again, it will rebind the sodium. Again, it will rebind the flower bearing compounds. So that is the mechanism. First, enzymatic muscles in shrimp meat is gradually hydrolysis of glycogen to lactic acid, which is known as glycolysis. Once lactic acid accumulates, then the pH of fish muscles decreases to 6 and 5.6. Then after that, what will happen, you know, the flavor, the nucleotide degradation will occur. Many flavor bearing compounds will be lost due to, due to action of hydrolysis because of adenosine triphosphates converts to adenosine diphosphates. Then adenosine diphosphates again further denatures into adenosine monophosphates and inosine monophosphates, the end product is hypoxanthin. So this is how the nuclear degradation will occur. When we add the phosphates, when we treat the shrimps with phosphates, what will happen? So what are the applications, especially the phosphates? The phosphates, once we treat the shrimp meat, it will act on the protein stabilization. The first one is shrimp meat contains proteins. In our previous topic, we have discussed it. So myofibrillar proteins, sarcoplasmic proteins and fibrin proteins. So these proteins are in the form of actinomyosin state. The muscle proteins contains actinomyosin constituent. It is complex molecule. The actinomyosin, the major part is the myosin. So myosin, what will happen during hydrolysis from adenosine triphosphate to adenosine monophosphate or adenosine diphosphate? The myosin will lose the fluid water molecules. Once we treat the shrimps with the phosphates, the phosphates means the blends of polyphosphates will interact will interfere with the actinomyosin, will associate with the actinomyosin. Then the myosin automatically rebinds the water molecules. 
that is called protein stabilization so this is the major role major applications of phosphates in seafood industry especially shrimp industry the second application is protein hydration see once the adenosine triphosphates converts to adenosine diphosphates then adenosine monophosphates because of depletion of phosphates phosphorus related compounds in shrimp meat due to that the phosphorylation and d amino acids and diphospho related compounds will form what will happen when we treat the phosphates when we treat the shrimp with phosphates then the adenosine diphosphates again gains the phosphates then adenosine triphosphate it will convert to adenosine triphosphates so this is how we can hydrolyze we can hydrate the proteins which are hydrolyzed we can gain the hydrogen molecule so this is the second application of first one is protein stabilization and second one is proteins hydration and third one now third one we'll discuss the third one is a protein solubilization protein solubilization the salt solution is used as a solvent and dissolves slowly in myosin however in the presence of polyphosphates the amount of myosin can be solubilized so myosin act as a binder water binding or flavor binding agents Both application of phosphates on shrimp meat and protein system is formation of complex the polyphosphates when we add the shrimps it will act as sequestering agents because the shrimp flesh contains meat contains ionizing elements like calcium might be there sodium and magnesium and iron shrimp flesh contains iron calcium magnesium sodium what will happen you know see these ions due to their high ionizing activity will move in a cellular intracellular are extracellular fluids when we treat the shrimps with polyphosphates the phosphates will interfere with the ionizing activity it will sequester the ionizing activity then the calcium or iron which acts as auto oxidation catalyst will stop the function so auto oxidation will stops because interfering the polyphosphates and binding the uh, uh, prohibit the movement of ionizing movement of the elements automatically the oxidation the fat oxidation we can prevent in shrimps or fish this is how the phosphates will help us to produce good taste and texture flavor retaining compounds and shelf life also it will extends so for longer period so once again recap the main points the phosphates applications in shrimp meat for protein system the first one is protein stabilization the second one is protein hydration third one is protein solubilization then the fourth one is complex formation protein stabilization yes stabilize it will stabilize the actinomyosins the phosphates will polyphosphates will act on actinomyosin it will stabilize the denaturing of the actinomyosin so water absorbs then it will stable then the second one protein hydration yes during nuclear degradation the hydrolysis will takes place atp to adp like that the hydrolysis will occur when we treat the shrimps with polyphosphates then the phosphorus depletion will be fulfilled by the additional phosphates so the additional phosphates will be taken by the shrimp meat and protein hyd hydration will occur the third one is the solubilization yes the protein solubilizes and will gain the flavor bearing compounds the fourth one is the complex formation so that's all the videos friends those who have not watched my previous videos i have given the link below part 1 and part 2 please watch the video 
because every video I am referring research publications and some articles and my past experiences in food industry I am sharing the knowledge you guys thank you for watching my video thanks to all